Hello, everyone. Welcome back. This is C Wing Yi, and welcome to another episode of my video on real estate investing. If you see value at the end of this presentation, please smash the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And finally, please also at the link below on my website, submit your email on there so you can become a free member of our real estate investing community. You will receive great high quality contents to educate you to become a real estate investor. Without further ado, I'm going to share my screen and let me get started. This will be once again, a very short video and the title is real estate investors. It is not about interest rates. Okay. So what are the news media, all the YouTube channels, people discuss about the, all the challenges about the housing market. Yeah. 99% of the coverage, 99% of the news media coverage and housing market are relegated to primary home buyers, 99%. So how are you going to get the remaining 1% of general public information that are geared towards real estate investors. Well, my chapel is on one of the few, right? So that's all I can say. All right, let's get back to my presentation. All right, real estate investor is not about interest rate. And here's why. Here's a critical comparison. A primary home buyer trying to buy a house is at the mercy of the mortgage interest rate up and down volatility. We are speaking in real time right now is in the middle of February, 2023. So you watch the news, you watch YouTube videos, you will see all the issues associated with the housing market. Anyway, as a real estate investor, on the other hand, you invest for cash flow. You invest for yield. Besides the investor quote buy box and just price is so much lower than a typical primary home buyer. It's such that the rates, the mortgage interest rates have very little effect on the cash flow on your yield. Again, you have to make them the difference between someone buy their own home to live versus a real investor is 100% different. It's a difference between night and day. It's a not only that, it's a completely different mindset. Primary home buyer versus real estate investor buying a rental property is a completely different mindset. Okay. If you're trying to buy a home to live, if you have to qualify based on your income, based on your faculty score, based on you need each paycheck you receive monthly, you have to pay one third or maybe more of your, debt, of your earnings to pay your mortgage on your primary home. As a risk investor, you buy a rental property, all your monthly debt service, the mortgage, taxes, insurance, property management fee, you have one, vacancies, maintenance, and upkeep, or outsourced to someone called the tenant, which can make you rich. At the end of the month, you still have a little bit of positive cash flow remaining, at least in the first year. Let me, give, let me give an example. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. The detail you can find on my other YouTube channels. Here are some of the property you could and should buy. I'm not even going to determine, let you know what market it is. In fact, you may want to make a comment below. What do you think of some of these markets that I'm promoting? Look at the numbers. I'm not going to go over the numbers that much. On the lower right-hand corner, you will see a mortgage interest rate for investor anywhere from six to seven and a half percent to even eight percent. You look at the mortgage payment you're paying by this rental property. Your mortgage at 25% down payment is 243,000. Okay. Your low balance that is. Your mortgage payment is 1422. It's not about the interest rate because your tenant is going to pay you this amount each month, 2300. So not only your mortgage payments, at whatever interest rate you're paying, six, seven, eight percent, or blurry underneath all the debt service, taxes, insurance, property, margin fee. At the end of the day, at the, 
you have at least a couple hundred dollars of monthly flow. Does that make sense? Let me give you another couple of examples. A lower price home, six to $8,000 investment property, same thing. You get a mortgage at 7% down. Your loan balance is 51000 and your mortgage payment three forty two. Once again, your tenant is going to pay your debts for you. Isn't that cool? And you still have some tax cash flow. I will give you one final example of another property. So you get two thousand dollars. You collect the rent nine fifty. Your mortgage at seven percent thirty year fixed rate mortgage of the investor is just normally a little bit higher than an owner occupied. But you can also do a rate pay down. You get some sellers in incentive to lower your interest rate. You know all those variables and flexibility you may have as an investor. At the end of the day, your monthly mortgage on this house is three hundred forty-one dollars. Is so your debts or your debt service expenses paid by the renter is paying you nine fifty. Okay, that's all I'm just saying. And the remaining few minutes, if you become a real investor, you or potentially going to buy an asset that is history's most powerful and proven multi-dimensional real estate asset class, which will give you four components, which no asset class in history will give you. When you buy rental property, you will get cash flow, passive income, amazing tax benefits that will reduce your taxes tremendously depending on your situation, long-term appreciation, three to five percent or more on a historical basis and you get using the power of leverage using other people's money OPM 30-year fixed rate mortgage four different amazing ways to make money over time okay I'm gonna skip a couple of these things in fact I'm not gonna skip it let me go back I'm not gonna talk about it but when you watch this video you may want to pause on a couple of these slideshow what additional benefit you will get when you own a rental property long. Here it is. Okay. Here you go. All those multiple top 10 or more amazing benefits, amazing revenue streams. You can negotiate your property to do different things over time. And one more thing I'm not even going to talk about. If you dive deeper, you have to look beyond the first year cash flow. You have to look at the 10 year timeline. That's why when you buy an income property over the next 10 years, look at this. I'm not going to go over these numbers. It will take me too long. On a year to year basis, things will get a lot better. Your cash flow, your rent will increase. Your cash flow will increase on an annual basis. Your appreciation will hopefully will increase. Depends. Sometimes it may decrease at least in the short term, but don't worry about that. Your value of your home increased. The load balance gets decreased as your renter pay it down for you. But if you were to sell it, you can, you can profit at some point in the future. If you do not sell it, you will continue to achieve this 10x revenue stream. Okay. Warren Buffett said, be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful. A lot of people are fearful out there. You need to be greedy and take the plunge and become, create wealth through long-term investing and create generational wealth through real estate investing. I know I have let a lot of details out there, but you can watch my other YouTube videos to learn more details about the high level information I can share with you. All right, hopefully you will see, we'll see a lot of value from this video. Please smash the like button and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. And finally, as I stated earlier, subscribe to my email newsletter on the website below, and you could become a free member of our real estate investing community. With that said, thank you so much. This is Sewing Me. I, I will see you on the next video shortly. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.